everybody! Welcome to a game called Tomato Clinic. This is another game by NPCKC, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a playlist for that. Um, they, I guess, participated in Honor Reno. I didn't know that. Maybe? Or maybe it just happens to coincide. I don't know, I didn't look too much into it. I saw Tomato Clinic, and I was like, I got an email, and I just, I immediately am playing it uh, as soon as I got the email. So... Let, let's please, please let me play now, please. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Tomato Clinic Tour. Oh, I can, I can change my name. Okay. <gasps> Whoa, I can change my hair and stuff? Ha, <laughs> that's so cute. Okay. Let's go with that one. It's so cute. I'm a pale ass beach. All right. Are you okay with the name, Lainey? You can change his pronouns anytime. Aw, that's sweet. All right, yeah, I'm good. There, got the form all filled out. I really should, should have got that done before actually coming here. Looks like nobody else is here yet though, so I'm safe. It's weird that there aren't any employees here yet either though. Would it be rude to just yell to see if anybody's in? I mean, if nobody's here, then nobody will think it's rude, right? Hello? Anybody in? Who are you and why are you yelling? Sorry, I didn't think anyone was in. Then why the he <sighs> did you yell? I don't know. I get nervous in unfamiliar situations. Wait, what? I'm Lainey, here for the tour. This is Tomato Clinic, right? Oh, heck. Is that today? What, don't tell me I got the date wrong. I'm so sorry, I'll come back later. Or never, if that'd be better. Just calm down for a sec. Let me check the calendar. <laughs> Same. I would totally do that. <laughs> Lift the freak out. And just be like, what the- Please? Help? I leave? I go forever? Well, okay. Oh, it does start today. Whew. I was so worried I screwed that up. I didn't see any other students here, so I thought that maybe I had the wrong place. That's because you're the only one who signed up. <laughs> Wait, you're not joking? Nope, it's just you. Marie said we didn't get any other applications. Who's Marie? My boss. She should be here any minute. <laughs> Surprise! Speak of the devil. Welcome, you must be here for the tour. Why am I feeling so awkward and like... You know? Get... You know what this means, right? Like that, that's an app description, right? That totally gets across my meaning, right? No, uh, I don't know. I'm just excited to play this, okay. Welcome, you must be here for the tour. What, where did you come from? Boss, you're going to scare away our only applicant if you keep, ju keep jumping out like that. I'm just trying to be friendly. Oh wait, I forgot to ask. Do you have your application form? Yes, we're here. Mm-hmm. So your name's Lainey? Yes, that's me. I booped the mic, sorry. Cool. My name's Marie. Nice to meet you. Gakuto? Did you introduce yourself yet? I would have, but you decided to jump attack me. Gakuto, that's no excuse to be rude. Ugh. The name's Gakuto. I hope I'm saying that right. Nice to meet you, I guess. It's nice to, be, nice to meet both of you. I'm excited to be here. You know what we do here then? I did some research ahead of time, but there wasn't too much on the website. It's a blood donation clinic, right? God. Gakuto. Gosh darn it. Why would you come for a tour if the idea makes you uncomfortable? Yes, this is a blood donation clinic. Yes, both me and Marie are vampires. Got a problem with that? so sassy. No, I I just haven't been to a place like this before. I'm a bit nervous, that's all. Gakuto, don't be so mean. And don't worry about it, Lainey. We're pretty new to this, too. Actually, you're our very first tourie. Er, tourist? How's that supposed to be reassuring? Anyone. No point to- Anyone? <laughs> no point in talking out here. Let's head inside, see- Any- Who? What? Let's head inside so I can talk a bit about what we do. 
Follow me. Ah, cute. You can put your backpack down behind the counter if you don't want to carry it. Oh, that'd be... Great, thanks. I guess I should follow them in. I guess she should. Uh, where did they... So what do you think? <laughs> what do I think of what? This room. Oh, um, it's very nice. It feels kind of homey. It's a bit different than what I expected, though. Different? Well, it looks kind of like a cafe. Oh, that's because it is a cafe. Huh? I thought it was a blood donation clinic. It is, but also functions as a cafe. When I started this place, my goal was to make it a place where people can relax. Blood donations sound really scary, right? Adding vampires just makes it scarier. What? No, that's not... It's okay. I know us humans are afraid of us. That's part of why I started this place. I want to make a place where humans could get to understand vampires a bit better. And that's why I've prepared... This! What is it? What is it? What is this? A quiz on vampires. It's very short, so don't worry. And it's okay if you get things wrong. We just want to check what people's general knowledge of vampires is. Just shout my name when you're done. I feel like I've been pumped full of vampire shenanigans just because like they're in the media so much <laughs> where did she go i guess i should fill out this quiz though it doesn't look too long so i should be okay let's see oh nice multiple choice where do vampires get most of their nutrition blood probably blood obviously not sure why this is even a question let's check out the next question what happens to vampires when exposed to sunlight um, they get sunburns. <laughs> I think this one makes the most sense. Turning to dust is a bit much, but there's probably some truth behind the rumor, right? Hmm, let's take a look at the next one. What do you use to ward off vampires? It, honestly, it changes so heckin' much. How about nothing? It feels like the other answers are too cheesy to be true. So this should be the right one. Hmm, I'm not too sure about my answer. No point worrying about it though, I guess. I wonder if we'll get it wrong. This is, this is multiple, does have multiple endings, but we're only gonna play through one, so you have a reason to go play yourself. On the next question, on to the next question. Where do vampires sleep? Um, ooh. Sometimes they sleep, sometimes they don't. Let's go with beds. Coffins feels a bit too much on the nose. And everyone has to sleep sometimes, right? Oh, it looks like the next question is the last one. What can vampires turn into? Nothing, this is a stupid question. <laughs> Why is this quiz suddenly being so confrontational? I guess this is probably the right answer then? Anyway, that's all the questions. I should call for, what was her name again? Er, Marie? Are you finished, Lainey? I mean, yes, I'm finished. Great, just let me check your answers then. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So how did I do? Why don't we go through the questions together? You got the first one right. Oh, cool. We don't get most of our nutrition from blood. If it's okay for me to ask, how does it work exactly? Hmm, that'd be a really lengthy explanation if I get too into it. Like. Think of how you eat food and your body turns that into energy for you. Right. For us, we do the same, just with blood. While we can eat regular food too, we don't process it well. It's kind of like junk food to us. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, so it doesn't really give you the nutrition you need. Exactly. I'm glad you get it. So for question two, you got this one right too. Yay. Which one was that again? We vampires get sunburns if we're in the sun for too long. How long is too long? Well, it depends on the vampire. Most of us will get bad sunburns in less than 10 minutes. Oh, geez. Less than 10 minutes? Do you just stay inside all the time? Nah, we just use sunscreen with very high SPF. And make sure to cover our skin as much as possible when heading out into the day. All of the windows at the tomato clinic are specially made to cut UV, too. This way we can enjoy the daylight without the sunburns. Aww. 
I thought vampires liked the night. <laughs> no, we just forced to only go out at night before. We were just forced to only go out at night before. Now we have modern technology to help us. Oh, that's pretty cool. Right? Let's look at the next question then. Nice, three in a row. Yay, I feel like I'm winning, even though it wasn't a contest. <laughs> the answer to what we use to ward off vampires is none of the above. There's no one thing you could use, use to ward off, to ward away vampires. Jeez, if I could get the words out. Like how there's no one thing you could use to ward humans away. Then why do people think that stuff like a cross and garlic will work? I think it's just one of those weird urban legends. After all, it's very easy to come up with things like this. If you don't know any vampires in real life. Huh? Moving on to the sleeping question. Wow, you're four for four. Oh, dang. Wow, I'm so good at this. We vampires just sleep in beds. Vampires get aches and pains just like humans. So honestly, coffins would be pretty uncomfortable. Oh, I guess that's true. Now for the last question. <laughs> Way too excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you got all the questions correct. We actually can't turn into anything. Yeah, I guess it was kind of a stupid question. No questions are stupid. But the quiz said... That was just Gokuto. I think he was annoyed. He thought the quiz was a stupid idea. I think it's a nice way of teaching people about vampires, though. What did you think as our first human quiz taker? I thought it was nice. I got to confirm a lot of what I knew. I'm glad. I'll be sure to let Gokuto know, too. I asked him to write the questions, and he was very annoyed about it. I'm sure he'll be happy to know his work was worthwhile. Will he? He doesn't seem very cheerful earlier. Oh, that's just how he is. Don't worry. Anyway, like I said earlier, you got all the questions correct, so that's a perfect score. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm a bit surprised. Here's your prize. It's a tomato. <laughs> Sorry my stupid head's in the way. I get a prize? Yep, as a thanks for getting to know us vampires sort of gift. It's a tomato pin? Because this is the tomato clinic. With this, you're part of our tomato club. Aw, cute! What's the tomato club? A club of vampires and friends. Right now, it's just Gakuto and me, and you. Oh, I don't really get it, but thank you. Now that we've got our icebreaker done, though, we can start one of our vampire culture, ex culture experiences. What? For the tour! You didn't think it was going to be all quizzes, did you? Honestly, I wasn't really sure what I signed up for. Well, soon you can find out. Soon I will find out. We've got a lot of fun activities set up for you. Our Gokuto has, at least. I'll go get him. Marie seems very energetic. It's nice! This whole place is pretty nice, actually. The decor is cute, and the general atmosphere is relaxing. What do you expect it to, to be all red satin and bats? No, I... Then what were you expecting? I... Well, maybe I was kind of expecting something like that. With more candles and chandeliers, maybe. Chandeliers. We're vampires, not Victorians. Sorry, it's just when I see vampires in the media. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry to bite your head off. Er, uh, figure of speech. I know there's a lot of weird stereotypes about us. That's why Marie set this clinic up, and why I'm helping out. That's really nice of you. Mm, yeah, sure. How'd the quiz go, anyway? Oh, the quiz? I got perfect. Hmm, not bad. Anyway, I'm supposed to be your tour guide. First up on the activity list is... The Vampire Sunscreen Routine. Gah. What? Is that some kind of vampire talent? What? Oh, you mean how Marie just peers out of nowhere? I wish. That's just a Marie thing. Anyway, as Marie said, our first activity is a common part of a vampire's usual morning routine. While we'd like to go through the whole morning, we're currently a bit understaffed as you can see. So we only have the sunscreen bit set up so far. Sunscreen? Well, as Marie told you earlier, vampires sunburn very easily. So we're very careful about applying sunscreen. So how is this supposed to work? Am I supposed to put sunscreen on you? What? No, that'd be weird. 
We have a dummy for this. We're not using actual sunscreen. Let me just set it up. Gotta stand it up, right? <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Make sure it's secure. Okay. Er, is that supposed to be a vampire? A pretend one. There are a bunch of clothes for you to choose from. The goal is to pick an outfit appropriate for a vampire. Then you'll put, a, put sunscreen on. Or, well, fake sunscreen since our dummy is made of a whiteboard. Just use this yellow marker to apply the sunscreen. Then I'll let you know... Then I'll let you know how well your vampire outfit would fare in the sun. Sound good? Oh, er... It sounds fun! I'm ready to start. Just stick on the fake clothes and the sunscreen and let me know when you're done. Got it. This shouldn't be too hard. I mean, we did just learn. A hat! Sunglasses, top hat, no headgear. Okay, we'll go with the straw hat. Long sleeves. A cape! That's funny. Just go with long sleeves. Click the dummy to apply. Wait, what? Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Tights? We just go with jeans, right? Socks, wellies, boots. Cute. Okay. Click the dummy? Okay. Are you okay with the outfit and sunscreen? Yeah, I think that looks good. I think this should be okay. Hey, er, Gakuto? You done? I think so. Would you take a look? Okay. Well, first, the outfit. You gave them something to cover up their eyes, which is good. You can use sunscreen on skin, but it's hard to protect your eyes. For the sunscreen, though, you didn't put on enough sunscreen. I didn't? It's actually a pretty common mistake for humans, too. You have to use a lot of sunscreen for it to actually be effective. Oh, so should I have clicked multiple times? If you don't put it on thickly and evenly, burns. Oh. I never thought about how much sunscreen you're supposed to put on. I usually just put on a little, if any at all. Well, that's because you can get away with it. I'm very pale. I burn so easily. There's actually, you can't tell. I'm wearing, I'm wearing blush on my nose because it's cute. But when I'm out in the sun or like being active, <laughs> there's, a, there's a scar on the top of my nose from getting sunburnt so many times and my nose turns all pink. <laughs> it's amusing. Well, that's because you can get away with it. Humans don't usually sunburn as badly as vampires do. If we're not careful about our sunscreen, though. Well, let's just say that sunburns can hurt a lot. I'll bet. Anyway, that was the activity. The idea was to give you a little idea of what a vampire goes through. As a way to say, hey, we're just normal people trying to live our lives. It's kind of more boring than I expected. I always thought vampires were more... I don't know. Sexy? Or scary? Or both? Sure, that's how we're often portrayed in media, but... Most of us are just boring people who buy a lot of sunscreen. Huh. Thanks for telling me about this. I never really thought about it before. Just doing my job. Anyway, I need to prep for the next activity. Wait here for a bit. Okay. I guess I'll do what Gakuto said. How was the activity? Eek! Uh, what? Sorry? How did you like the first activity? You know, the vampire sunscreen routine! Oh, that. It was pretty interesting. Oh, I'm really glad. It took a lot of time cutting the whiteboard to the right size. You cut it yourself? Yep, we're pretty short on funds, so most of the stuff here is DIY. Wow, that's amazing. Thanks, we try our best. Sorry I got a bit off topic. I'm actually here because it's time. For a requiz. A requiz. A chance for you to take our vampire quiz again. Is what I'd planned on saying, but since you already aced the test, there's actually nothing for me to do. Sorry, should I have got some questions wrong? No, no, of course not. It's great that you got a perfect on your first try. I thought I'd ask if you had any questions for me instead. Just about vampires in general. Questions? Hmm. Um, do vampires live forever? Maybe this is a stupid question, but do vampires live forever? Nah, that'd be really scary, honestly. We pretty much age just like humans do. I wonder why that myth got around then. I think it's just because we all have pale skin. It's because we all have pale skin and all. 
People had a hard time telling us apart. Oh. I've heard stories about vampire kids being mistaken for their parents and such. And since people didn't want to interact with us much, there was never a chance to correct the misunderstanding. Oh, that's actually really sad. That's why I'm here though, to correct these misunderstandings. Any other questions? Questions, hmm, not right now. I don't wanna ask this one. This one seems dumb, dumb. <laughs> not right now. I think I'm good for now. Cool, I think Gakuto should be back soon anyway, so I'll leave you two to it. Oh, she actually, actually walked out normally this time. I guess I'll just wait for Gakuto to come back. I can take a little look around here in the meantime. They have some interesting magazines. I've never seen most of these before. Vampire Weekly, Fang Outpost, Wired for Nights. You can take a look at them if you want. Ah, no, sorry, I was just... Like I said, feel free to take a look at them. They're there for visitors to look at, after all. Oh, okay. Maybe a bit later. Whatever, do what you want. I have the next activity ready when you are, though. I am. Ready, that is. What's the next activity? A backstage tour of sorts. I'm gonna show you the process we go through before a blood donation. Oh, oh, okay. We're gonna be looking at blood and stuff. Are you gonna be okay with this? I... Yes, I will. I'm fine. You sure? I will. I was just caught off guard. I don't mind looking at blood, but I do mind looking at wounds. So like... Gross. I can't- I can't handle it. You, like, break your nose. <laughs> no, don't come to me with that. Go to the doctor. Sorry, I can't help you. Sorry, you really haven't done anything like this before. Yeah, I get that. It's really nothing to be nervous about, though. Let me show you. <laughs> the music is cute as always. This is where the blood donations happen. Huh. It doesn't look very clinical. Yeah, we wanted all the rooms here to look as inviting as possible. To make sure people could feel comfortable. We visited a bunch of other clinics in other areas before deciding on the look for Tomato Clinic. It definitely makes me feel relaxed, at least. Guess it was worth the work we put into it, then. What? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Nothing. Anyway, let me explain the process. How much do you know about blood donation? Not very much, honestly. I've only ever had blood tests and that's about it. Okay, then I'll start at the beginning. I actually had a blood test one time. I don't remember what for, I was a kid. But they took like a syringe of blood out of my arm. But <laughs> the nurse who did it, like, I don't know what was going through her head. She left the like cap to the syringe uh, on the counter so like she put the needle in my arm and my blood obviously started pumping out but then the little tube filled up and she didn't have any way to like cap it off and make it stop coming out so she just like had to hold her thumb over it it was glo gloved obviously sorry I clicked I don't know why that happened. <laughs> it was gloved obviously but she was just standing there like uh uh and I'm like freaking out because I'm a little kid and I don't know what's happening <laughs> She had to call for another nurse to come in and hand her the back end of the thingy so she could cap it off and I'd stop spewing everywhere. Terrifying. <laughs> That's it. That's it for my blood donation stories. I'm scared. Okay, then I'll start at the beginning. First off, just to clear any possible misunderstandings, both Marie and I are certified to draw blood. All vampires working at donation clinics are required to be certified for both the regular human method and the vampire-assisted method. Regular human method probably means using a needle, but what's the vampire-assisted method? Guessing you don't know much about vampire fangs, right? No, sorry. Well, you've probably heard stupid stories about people getting pleasure from vampire bites. That sounds gross and creepy. Yeah, I have. That's not how it works. Oh. Our fangs have a substance which is a natural natural anesthetic with a calming effect. They're also very sharp and pointy, so the wound left behind is very small. At blood donation clinics, the process is simple. Bite, then draw. Huh? First we bite to create a very small wound. Then we use a needle to draw out the blood. Oh, but why not just use a needle in the first place? 
Unfortunately, blood loses its nourishing qualities very quickly after leaving the body. That is, unless it is first stabilized by the substance in our fangs. Well, it'd be easier to just bite and suck blood from the source. We can't expect a human to always be available when a vampire gets hungry. That's where blood donation clinics come in. Oh, okay. We draw blood and distribute it to vampires who need it. Oh, like a vampire food bank. Cute. Something like that, yeah. Everything makes sense so far? I think so. Before we actually draw the blood though, we do a health check to make sure everything is okay. What kind of issues could there be? For example, maybe the person's blood is infected with something and they don't know. They might have recently taken medication that prevent them from donating. They might just be feeling sick and donating blood can make them feel worse. Hmm. Once we've confirmed that everything is okay, then we start the blood donation process. The human gets comfortable on the couch and the vampire takes their arm. Arm, not neck? While it's true that it's easier to drink blood from the neck, since we're drawing the blood out through needles, it's easier to do it through the arm. Like a regular blood donation. Oh, I guess that makes sense. One thing we make sure is very clear though, is that it's okay to stop at any time. We always want to make sure both the human and the vampire are comfortable with everything. So if the human feels uncomfortable, we call it off. Same for if the vampire feels uncomfortable. Maybe you start feeling dizzy during the donation, or you just changed your mind. You don't need a reason. If someone says stop, everything stops. That's, that's really cool. We'll even give you a button you can press, just in case you're anxious about saying it out loud. My, my husband, he's given a lot of blood because he has a special blood type. I forget what it is. I don't know if it's, it might be O. I don't, I don't really know. They, they call him all the time, but he gets really sick afterwards. And I was like, just tell them to take less. But instead he's just not doing it anymore. I don't know, but I feel bad for him because he'd get really sick. Well, for him. <laughs> we'll even give you a button you can press. Oh, right, read that, okay. Wow, you're really prepared. Well, we're asking people to give their blood to us. We wanna make sure we have their complete consent. Jeez, oh, sorry. Anyway, that's the end of the presentation. Hopefully you've got a better idea of our blood donation process now. I think I do, thanks. Great, I'm gonna go back to the cafe area to prep for the last activity. Could you wait here until I'm done? Got it. Cool. The blood donation process is a lot more complicated than I expected. I guess I should just wait here now, though, until Marie. Hello. <laughs> what? There isn't even a door on that side of the room. Where on earth did you come from? The vents. Haha, <laughs> that's a secret. Technically, it this time is scheduled for a quiz, but since you've already passed the quiz, though, do you want to ask me some questions? Hmm, questions. How common are vampires? How common are vampires compared to humans? It really depends, honestly. Vampires tend to live in small communities. Lately, though, you have more vampires like Gakuto and me moving into big cities and such. Now that humans know a bit more about vampires, it's easier for us to live among humans. Really? I lived here my whole life, but... I don't think I've seen more than a couple of vampires. I mean, you really can't tell we're vampires at first sight, right? If you're not looking too closely, we really just look like pale-skinned humans. Oh, that's true. You might actually know a couple of vampires without knowing it. I wonder if I do. Any other questions? Hmm, questions. Not right now. I don't care if people can be turned into vampires. It doesn't seem like it anyway. It seems like you're born a vampire and you're born a human and then you exist for about the same length of time and then you die. I'm okay for now, I think. Okay then, in that case, that's everything from me. Gakuto will let you know when he's ready, so just stay here. Play the game if you want to know more. Play the game if you want to click that option. 10 out of 10 do recommend play the game. Uh, Gakuto will let you know when he's ready, so stay here. Okay. I wonder if there are any secret passageways in this place. Nah, that'd be a bit much. My voice cracked, <laughs> sorry. I wonder how much longer Gakuto will be though. Hey Lainey, I'm done setting up. Let's go back to the cafe area. I guess I should follow him. 
It's so cute. Wait, what? It didn't look like this before. I mean, I said I was prepping, right? What is this for? An old vampire tradition. A blood tasting. Blood? Uh, I... Don't worry, I'm not actually gonna make you drink blood. We're doing a human-friendly version with tomato juice. Then what? It's like humans have holidays, right? Yes? And for these holidays, you usually gather people together, right? Yeah, for family dinners and such. Well, vampires don't eat. Oh, right. So what we usually do instead is have a blood tasting together. Humans share food. Vampires share blood. Food's a big part of human culture, right? I guess. Blood fills the same role in vampire culture. This actually really reminds me of this girl on YouTube. I can't remember her name. I'll put it up somewhere. She has Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. She can't eat or digest food. Well, she can eat it, but then she has to flush it out through a feeding tube in her stomach. She can't digest it. It can't go through her system. Um, and she was talking about this the other day that she will eat during get-togethers because everybody else is and she wants to be with them and food still tastes good to her and even though she'll get sick and throw it up later it's kind of worth it so it's interesting that this game has a parallel in that way you know because i'm sure there are other people out there in a similar situation as her, right? Just something to think about, I guess. <laughs> Blood fills the same role in vampire culture. But how does that? I'll explain, but first, I wanna check that you're okay with doing this. We're not using real blood, but the idea is that we're going to pretend we are. Of course, even when we use actual blood, it's always blood that's drawn with consent. But if you don't wanna do this activity, you don't have to. Are you cool with this? Um, it is a bit much, but I'll do it anyway. <laughs> Just because I want to see. I want to try. If it's okay, I want to try. To be honest, I do feel feel a bit nervous. I don't think I've ever done anything like a blood tasting before. I'd still like to try, though, if it's okay. I came here to learn more about vampires, after all. If you'd let me participate in a bit of your culture, I'd, re I'd be really happy. Sounds like we're okay, then. Now, let me explain how blood tasting works. There are actually many different kinds, with different steps. The one we're doing today is for when one vampire invites another to their household. It's meant to show hospitality as well as trust. Oh, cool. Oh, sort of like serving drinks to guests at a party? Well, it's usually a bit more formal than that. There'll be a vessel filled with blood, in this case, tomato juice. The vampire who is hosting, in this case me, pours a glass for the guest. That would be me? Yeah, it's polite to serve the guest first. Next, the guest will return the favor and pour a glass for the host. The point is to show that they are honored to be a guest. Then both parties will take a sip, but just a small one. Next, the vampires clink their glasses together. Huh? They make a toast after they've already drunk? The idea is that since they've already taken a sip, part of their self is left on the glass. Oh. And by clinking the glasses together, they're sharing that part of their self with the other party. Huh. A blood tasting is usually done when somebody invites somebody over for the first time. It's a way of saying, I trust you in my home. Part of trusting somebody is entrusting them with yourself, so that's what a blood tasting is meant to show. That's really interesting. Finally, both vampires drink until their glass is empty without stopping. Chug, 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 sorry. <laughs> Again, this is meant to show trust. Not emptying the glass would show hesitation to accept the other vampire's offer of trust. Wow, there's a lot of thought put into all the actions, huh? To be honest, I think most vampires don't really think that much about it. We just do blood tastings this way because that's how they've always been done. Hmm, okay. That sums up the steps though. Are you ready to try? I think so. Okay, let's sit at the table then. I'll pour you a glass. Okay, do you remember what to do next? Um, what, are they labeled? They're not labeled. Oh, shit. Was it, 
Wait, okay, let's think this out real quick because I wasn't paying enough attention. I didn't know I was gonna be quizzed. Okay, the clinking... The clinking is after you drink. But this looks like the chugging one. So this is the sip. This is the pouring. Don't drink straight from the bottle. Okay, so I think these two actually aren't involved. And then this one. This might be the first one. It might go this one, this one, this one, this one. Or it might just go this one, this one, this one. I'm like second guessing myself. <laughs> or maybe it's... Can we go back? <laughs> okay. Next guess will return the favor and... Okay, that's what I thought. Oh, but I thought it was pouring from one cup to the next. Okay. Good job, the first step is returning the favor and pouring a glass for your host. Sorry, I cheated, I'm sorry. Okay, do you remember what to do next? Um, take a sip. Right, we just take a sip from the glass. Next, what do we do? Clink. Yep, we clink glasses as a sign of trust. Now what do we do last? Chug. Right, we down the rest of our glasses. And that's it, a vampire blood tasting. What did you think? Thank you for doing this with me. I'm really glad I had the chance to experience it. Though we used tomato juice, that was pretty much exactly how blood tasting usually goes. I'm glad you seem to have enjoyed it. Aww. Huh? Nothing. Hopefully that was an edu hopefully that was educational in some way or another. Anyway, that's the last activity. Which means this is the end of the tour. Oh, that was quick. Could you head to the reception? Marie should be waiting for you there. Oh, okay. How about you, Gokto? I'm just gonna clean this up first. Got it. I'll see you later. Can we wear a tomato pin? <laughs> huh? Marie isn't here yet. Hi, Lainey. Hi, Marie. I came back here since the tour is over. Right, and thank you for taking part in our tour. You should have seen this as well when signing up, but at the end, we have an optional blood donation. Oh, right. I remember seeing that. Of course, this is only if you want to. You'll also have to pass our health check first. Today, both Gakuto and I are available for blood donations. Just let me know if you'd like to donate. And if you would, who you'd like to draw your blood. A blood donation. Um, hmm. Who do we want to draw our blood? Hmm. I like Marie, she's very exciting. But also Gakuto is super chill. And he's kind of like warmed up to us, so I kind of want to be like, he warmed up to us, let's warm up to him kind of deal, you know? Let's do that. I'd like Akita to draw my blood. If that's okay. Of course, I'll take you to the lounge. You decided to do the blood donation then? I did. Well, I already explained this earlier, but first we'll do the health check to make sure everything is okay. Then we'll have you sit on this couch. I'll use my fangs to create a very small wound in your arm. Then I'll use a needle to draw out the blood. I'll keep you company until the blood donation's done. One thing I want to make sure you understand is you can ask me to stop at any time. Got it? Got it. If you want to stop, you can press this button. It'll let me know immediately and I'll stop the donation. If you're okay, we can start with the health check. Okay. It looks like everything's in order. We can start now if you're good. I'm good. I can start. Okay then, would you sit down on the couch and give me your arm? Perfect. I'm going to use antiseptic on your skin first. Okay, I'm going to bite and it'll sting a little. If you feel uncomfortable, just tell me to stop. I would feel very uncomfortable. Don't put your fucking mouth on me. Say nothing. <laughs> okay, that's done. I'm going to put the needle in now. I'll be using this to draw the blood out. Let me know if you want me to stop. Okay, the needle is in. It'll take about 10 minutes for enough blood to be drawn out. Drawn out. I'll keep you company until it's done. Thanks for doing this, by the way. Why are you thanking me? I know I wasn't exactly always polite today. Honestly, I wasn't really sure I even wanted to do these tours for humans. 
Humans haven't exactly been really kind to me. Oh. Being a vampire is already uncommon enough, but... On top of that, I'm trans too, so it can be a lot. I'm not trans. <laughs> that sounds really tough. That sounds really tough. It can be. That's what I love about NPC KC games, is they always are like... There's always an underlying, like, message. You're not alone in the LGBTQ plus community. It can be. That's part of why I agreed to Marie's stupid plan. I didn't think there was really any point, but if it could get people to stop being so stupid about vampires, even just a little, I thought maybe it'd be worth trying. You definitely helped me learn a lot about vampires, so I really appreciate this tour. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, the blood donation is finished. Already? Yeah, we're done. That was faster than I expected. I'm going to leave you some juice and snacks. When you're done with them and feel okay to move, come to the front. Got it. I'll just eat these biscuits then. Hi, Gagato. You feeling okay? Yeah, I'm totally fine. Okay, take this plant flute then. It, is, it has general info about what not to do after a blood donation. Got it, thanks. That's it for today then. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. I enjoyed the tour. Ree's thinking up some new tour ideas right now, so you can come back again if you want. Only, only if you want. <laughs> what? I said you could come back again if you want. Oh, you wouldn't mind? Why would I? We can't run this clinic without visitors. That's true. But what I mean to say is, I wouldn't mind if you came back again. I enjoyed showing you around too. Oh, then I'd definitely like to come back again. I'm looking forward to it then. Thank you for playing. Aw, oh, dude! Well, he's at the end. Sad. Sad! I loved it, as usual. I always love NPC Casey games. I am going to replay this and find out what uh, Marie's end is. <laughs> and you guys honestly should do the same thing. Not gonna lie. The first link in the description. So easy. Just run right over there. I think there might be an Android version. I don't think there's an Apple version because you do have to pay to have in the Apple store. But this is a free game or pay what you like. Why wouldn't you just go over there and play it for your dang self? Get over there right now. Get up. Go. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for playing with me. I'll see you next time.